Today's video is about something that has been forgotten about by many people, and it's the dot matrix printer. And specifically, because it's the one I own, this one, which is the Citizen 120D. Now, my first printer that I ever owned was one of these. It was actually the 120D Plus, but it was in essence the same printer. And what I love about this piece of technology is that even though this was made in about 1990, it will span four decades of technology. And I'm just going to show you what I mean by that statement. My first example is going to be using my BBC Micro. Now, the BBC Model B first went into production in 1981. So this is a 40-year-old computer. It's connected via this ribbon cable using the parallel Centronics interface on the printer and the data comes out parallel out of the computer and into the printer. Now I have running on the BBCB the very well known text editing program called WordWise. A later version called WordWise Plus was the most commonly found version of WordWise used on the BBC and it normally came on a ROM chip inside the computer and you saved your files onto disk. Well, this version is a slightly earlier version, which is running off a disk, or rather my MMC card underneath. By hitting the escape key, I can show you the text that is written on this piece of uh, software. And basically what you have there are all the characters that are available on the keyboard of the BBC Micro. OK, here we go. As you can see, it printed that text very quickly indeed. Let's have a look at it. Well, it does pretty much what's set out on the tin. It's printed out all the characters of the text that I typed into the computer, and all the text is legible and is perfectly adequate, certainly for the time that it was in production. This type of cable is familiar to many people. It's a Centronics printer lead with the Centronics connector on the left and the 25-way D-type parallel connector on the right. This was the standard cable used for dot matrix printers and pretty much every other type of parallel printer in the 90s and beyond. Many are still used today. However, because a lot of dot matrix printers are still in use today in places such as pharmacies and garages, you still need to print, so how do you do it? Well, you can get a USB to Centronics adapter cable. This hooks up from any USB output of a computer and you can print straight to your printer. Microsoft have always been very good at supporting legacy hardware and Windows 10 still supports the Citizen 120 printer. All I had to do was plug it in and Windows found the driver for it. In 1992, one of the reasons I bought a printer was I wanted to print out lyrics for my band. At the time, they would all be written on the MS-DOS text editor, but I now have them all on Microsoft Word. Much as I would always have the lyrics stored on computer, hard copies are always needed when you're rehearsing and recording, so I would always print them out and then we could use them And as you can see, the print quality is very good, certainly for a printer that's 30 years old. We live in an era of known built-in obsolescence with technology, so it's very satisfying to know that there are still some computer peripherals around, such as this printer, that has four decades of compatibility. I hope you like this little video. I'll be doing more as time goes on. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe. 